Hello, I'm Mary Director and I'm a Fun Stampers Journey Coach. Today I want to tell you a little bit about our new pencils that we've brought um, to you as a customer. Uh, they're brand new as of this month. Um, first I want to let you know that I do have a blog. It's createscardsjourney.blogspot.com My website, if you'd like to buy any product, is funstampersjourney.com slash Mary Director and I'm also on Facebook um, facebook.com slash creates cards journey so three different locations you can find me lots of information there so let's get started with the pencils I'm first going to tell you about our color splash pencils these are a watercolor pencil there's 48 watercolor pencils in the tin. It's a metal tin. On the back of the tin is a color chart. It shows you where a pencil matches up exactly with the Fun Stamper's Journey color, such as cardstock, um, inks, anything we have, you know, in our color collection. This chart is is literally printed on the tin itself and the exact same color chart is inside the lid. Again, the blue one is the watercolors and it's called Color Splash. When you open up your tray of pencils, there are two trays inside. It's a, a lightweight plastic tray. There's little pinch points that you can lift it up and out. Both trays are removable. Let me show you the pencils. The pencils all say um, color splash on them and the fact that they're a journey with our our logo which is the bloom and it also has a number on each pencil. The number both boxes of pencils the color splash and the color burst are numbered the numbers do not necessarily mean that it's the exact same color. So please don't feel that if it's a number 39 in watercolor that the number 39 in the color burst are going to be the same color. Um, they probably won't match. What you can do here on our color chart, it shows you that if you wanted to make Blue Lagoon, we're going to take watercolor number 0022 and blend it with 0027. So it's showing you how to match or if there's an exact match. Also included with your watercolor pencils is a brush. It's just a, you know, a standard paint brush. You may decide that you want a thicker brush or a thinner, but this is a good general purpose one. And we do have other paint brushes in our catalog that are available. So again, 48 colors, two trays, really nice uh, metal tin. Oh, and one thing I did want to tell you too, each pencil has a band on it. The blue means this is watercolor, so every pencil in the color splash box will have a blue band. The color burst has an orange band. That way if your pencils get intermixed on the table, someone takes them out, you'll know which box they go in. And again, the tin's metal and it is 48 colors, but with combining colors you're going to be able to get so many more um, options. Our other pencils are the color burst and they're pure color pencils. Again, a metal tin, orange here on the front. Color palette here. Also, same as the other color palette on the back. The back color palette is the exact same as the one inside. 48 colors, two trays again, and again, they're, they're um, lightweight plastic trays. And just a nice selection of colors. Okay, so these are the the two different tins. 
You'll find them in the catalog, our main catalog, Inspiration Book and Catalog. On page 276, the color burst, which are the pure colors, are JM0077. And then the color splash are JM0078. Let me set these aside for a second. There um, are a couple optional um, items you may want to look at. On page 279, color splash sheets are really great when you're doing watercolor. They're textured and they're also a little denser, so they're really nice for watercoloring. They're 20 in a pack. It's JM0076. And they're perfect size for an A2 card. So they're four and a quarter by five and a quarter. And there's 20 sheets in that package. For the color burst pencils, the regular color pencils here, they are oil based. And they're really, I can't explain. Um, when you color with them, they're so smooth to work with. They're just really silky. I think you'll really like them. Um, the color burst have what they call pencil blenders. And the item number in that is T0-0123. There's a six pack and there are two of each size and there's three different sizes. I don't know if you can see that or not. I apologize if you can't. Then the other item is the blender tip cleaner. And this is TO-0124. And this is, um, I don't have it here to show you. It's a little tool and it's layers of sandpaper. So as your color burst blenders get color on the tip, you can clean them off so you don't inner blend colors. So what you would do with your color burst is you would color your item and then you would take the uh, blender and rub it over the top. Um, there's no color to this, it's just to blend to move the uh, colors into each other and then when you're done you'd want to clean the tips so then you would use the tip cleaner. Great products. I want to share some tips with you that were given to us at convention and also from personal use. What one and most important when you need to sharpen your pencils definitely do not put them into an electric pencil sharpener. They're not, a, you know, they're not your typical number two pencil. These leads, um, the lead, I don't know if you'd even call it lead, the color um, barrel in these will be destroyed if you put them in an electric pencil sharpener. Um, do invest in a manual pencil sharpener. Uh, don't go and get your 50 cent pencil sharpener. You want, if you have an artist store close by, you want to definitely get some. I was lucky enough I found an orange one for my color burst. I couldn't find blue, but it's just a pencil sharpener that holds the shavings down here. You want one for each type of pencil. Um, you don't want to share a pencil sharpener um, so that the, um, the shavings would get under the other pencils. So we need to one pencil sharpener for each. I went to a regular art store. Um, they cost me about five dollars each, but they're a you know a razor blade type, and they are artist for artist quality pens pencils. So um, this is a good investment. It'll also help with your pencils to last longer. Um, let's see. I told you about just um, to realize that the pencil numbers in this tin do not necessarily agree with the pencil numbers in this. Though, so a number 39 in the color burst is not the same brown as a color 39 in the watercolors. And then, again, each pencil style, whether it's color burst or the watercolor, has a band. The blue is for watercolor. The orange is for the color burst. So easy way to keep track of which tin it came out of and whether or not to use water with it. 
and the trays, you can remove both sets of trays out of the tins and the color, color splash has the paintbrush with it. And then let me show you a couple things that I made. It'll take just a second here. These are all in my blog. I'm just going to show you two of them. This was done with, um, let me show, I guess I need to bring them all. Just a minute, I apologize. Okay, we're going to show the watercolor ones first, the color splash. This, every flower in this, was done with the color splash. I, I stamped the image. I made sure I used water, waterproof ink, which are um, fusion inks, wind dry, uncard stock, are waterproof. You do not need to heat set them. I colored them in. And you'll get a, this is watercolor paper, so you'll get a real rough texture to it. Um, when I took the water, um, the paintbrush over the top, it smooths everything out. And then when it dried, I actually did these on canvases that I colored the backs. Then I took some of our Journey Foam Squares. So some of these are glued directly to the canvas, and other ones are popped up to add dimension. So this is the flower bouquet, all watercolor, color splash. The little bear here is done. The bear was done with watercolor also, as is this flower. So the color splash. Then this one is a mix. The bear is done with the color Burst. I colored him in and then used um, the blender tools to smooth out the coloring. Although you'll find sometimes you really don't need to do that. With this coloring I used our regular whipped cream cardstock. This flower is done with the color Splash, so this is watercolor. So you'll see regular pencil coloring with the pure color color burst pencils and then the water coloring with the color splash in this one. The background here is something I sponged on and then I've used different color silks. I used a um, leaf dye that we have to put behind here for the flower. And then just one more to show you. This one I stamped the image directly under the canvas of the bear. I sponged the edge with um, green olive ink, ink pad. This flower is actually done with the color burst, which is the pure color pencils. And so this is just a sample of you know what I've done. I'm having lots of fun with it. Um, this is my first video in ages, so I apologize for being a little nervous and um, not as well prepared maybe as I should have been, but I hope the video has given you some good information. Again, please stop by my blog. I'd love to have new visitors. If you have product that you would like to buy, would like me as your coach, here is my website. Uh, which is funstampersjourney.com slash Mary Director. And I'm also on Facebook, which is Creates Cards Journey. Thanks a lot. I appreciate your time in watching my video today.